Welcome in to this edition of Great City Attractions. Today we visit a jewel of a city in South America. These are the Great City Attractions of Rio de Janeiro. Christ the Redeemer. In a city that doesn't lack iconic attractions, Christ the Redeemer may well be the most recognizable of all Rio's famous landmarks. Constructed through the 1920s, the 30-metre-high statue can be found at the very top of Corcovado Mountain. With arms spread wide, the depiction of Jesus Christ welcomes up to 2 million sightseers every year. The statue has also been named among the new Seven Wonders of the World. Sugarloaf Mountain Named after the lucrative sugarcane trade of the 16th century, the mountain strikes out towards the Atlantic Ocean, lifting itself upwards of 400 metres high. A number of cable cars, which first ran in the early 1900s, provide transport to the crown of the mountain, while a number of mountain climbing tracks and courses are also situated here. The mountain has featured in a number of international movie releases. Copacabana Beach Rio has many famous beaches, one of which is Copacabana. This particular beach is accessed by the ranging Copacabana Promenade, which stretches for over four kilometers. The beach is flanked by old forts, one dating back towards the late 1700s. The beach is a popular concert site, with Lenny Kravitz, Rod Stewart and the Rolling Stones attracting huge crowds to the beach in years past. The beach also hosted Olympic beach volleyball action during the Rio Olympics of 2016. The Metropolitan Cathedral of Rio de Janeiro Dedicated to St. Sebastian, this striking piece of architecture was completed in the late 1970s. Calling on Mayan influences for its architectural style, the result is a striking and memorable sight for all who visit. The cathedral can hold as many as 5,000 worshippers at any one time. The immense stained glass windows rise upwards some 60 metres, punctuating the interior of the building with light and colour. If you're enjoying this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel below. Lapa Arches An impressive feat of engineering that took place in the 1700s, the Lapa Arches were constructed to ensure a safe and constant water supply to the city of Rio de Janeiro. With water treatments advancing in the 1800s, the aqueduct was converted into a tramline towards the end of the 19th century. The tramline remains a popular ride for tourists and locals. The Botanic Gardens of Rio de Janeiro Diversity of flora is captured brilliantly at the Botanic Garden of Rio de Janeiro. With over 6,000 species of plant resident here, there's variety at every turn of the 130-acre site. The Avenue of Royal Palms is one of the features of the gardens, running for some 750 metres. Visitors to the gardens may also be able to encounter toucan and hawks, with marmosets also known to frequent the grounds. Parc Lage Situated close to the botanical garden, Parc Lage is a public park at the foot of the Corcovado. The park is recognised for its historical importance to the city. The on-site mansion, which was once the residence of prominent industrialist Henrik Lage, featured in one of Snoop Dogg's music videos. Beautiful. The Celeron Steps. Famous for their vivid colours, which are in keeping with the colours of the Brazilian flag, the Celeron Steps are a celebration of one man, Jorge Celeron, a Chilean artist who took it upon himself to renovate the streets and steps outside of his own home. Donated tiles featured heavily in the work that spanned some 200 plus steps. Candelaria Church. A Roman Catholic church, Candelaria Church may trace its origins to a sea wreck of the 17th century. Portuguese interests in the area saw various churches built on this site. The church visitors see today has a number of different architectural influences, with Baroque and neoclassical styles evident in the building. That concludes this edition of Great City Attractions. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. What's your favourite place in Rio de Janeiro? Comment below.